Guys! Tu 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 Hindi siya makahintay na maligo ako. Magka-make up. Magka-gems. I woke up like this. Hindi <laughs> siya makahintay. Yeah. So, anyway guys, thank you so much. As of this filming, we have passed 150,000 followers. That is crazy. And more than a million views on the last video. So much to thank for, mm. to be thankful for, and it's all because of you guys. Yung dream ko talaga for the channel is to make engineering and building more approachable, especially to the aspiring students, possibly to the mga new homeowners and the existing homeowners as well, and fans of engineering and architecture. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you haven't, subscribe. Okay, so today. We are going to be talking about, and I get this a lot, I get asked this a lot, we are going to be talking about how to save money on your home project, whether it's renovation or whether it's a new house or an extension to your house or whatever usual construction things that goes on in your house. I'm going to teach it to you as simply as I can because marami naman talagang ways whether it's technical, changing architectural design or changing the structure a little bit or just how the house looks. Meron talagang maraming paraan pero the biggest bang for your buck and as simple as possible we will be covering it today. Lessons from engineers later. Uh. Okay guys, it's a beautiful day in the sky pod. It's raining a bit, it's cold, it's uh, cozy, and it's hot to breathe. So if you're going to breathe, guys, it's because uh, it's hot here. Anyway, we have food, mukbang challenge food, and um, peanut butter my wife prepared for me. Our topic for the day is how we can save money on your next project. So to keep it simple, para lang yung bumibili tayo ng cellphone. Di ba, usually when we are trying to buy a cell phone, we look for different suppliers. So tip number one is look for different suppliers. We save when we look for different suppliers. And in terms of the cell phone, maybe we save a few thousand pesos. But in terms of a house, maybe a few hundred thousand or even millions, di ba? So dito sa Skypod, I would confidently say that we were able to save about uh, 10 to 20 percent siguro on just that tip alone. Alam ko, even my friends, when I give them this tip, hindi nila ginagawa because sobrang hassle. Ang dami mong kailangan i-coordinate. Meron pa tayong mga suppliers na unresponsive or take too long to give a quote. But I feel like it's worth the effort. And if the supplier is unresponsive, hindi tayo binigyan ng importansya, that is a good sign that you should probably not be working for them or with them. Di ba? On that note, the second tip is still along the lines of a cell phone. Tingnan natin yung every line of their quotation. Because, dapat alam natin, di ba? Okay, ano, ano to? 64 gig ba to? Ilang megapixel ba yung camera? Pareho ba yung kinote nila na cell phone? iPhone 11 ba to? Or iPhone 11 Pro? Or baka iPhone 5 lang to? That's why nakakamura. So, meron talagang mga suppliers out there that try to hide things in their quote or try to eliminate stuff and then charge you after. Which is what happened to us, sadly, dito sa Skypod when it comes to our pool. So, with our pool, we quote kami ng dalawang suppliers. The other one was more expensive, so we didn't get them. The problem is, and I'm not gonna name the supplier, the problem is the supplier did not put in lights, for the pool, did not put in the steps, yung mga steps dun sa, sa gilid. He, he did not include that in his coat. And medyo 
mas malit yung mga pumps na ginamit, etc. That was my mistake because I didn't check his quote and I trusted his word when he said, oh, kasama na yan, kasama na yan. So, hindi ko ni line by line yung quote niya. It was just an email na, oh, kasama na ba to? And then he, he vaguely said, yes, kasama na. So, we had a big argument about that. It, it happens to all of us guys, yung mga supplier problems. He ended up being more expensive than the other guy. So that was a sad story, medyo stressful, but something you can avoid if you do it line by line. And if you have questions, feel free to ask your supplier, bakit ganito yung kinot ng kabila? Huwag nyo bigay yung coat ng kabila, but ito yung specs ng kabila, but ito yung sa inyo, bakit magkaiba? Anong difference? So maybe mas magaling siya mag-save or parang tinitipid ka lang, hindi natin alam, di ba? And along those lines, make sure you have everything in writing. Don't trust yung mga usap-usapan lang or handshake deals. Kasi even with us, when I discovered yung pool namin, oy hindi kasama yung light, sabi niya, oh, ganito lang yung cost niyan, don't worry about it. And pagdating na actual cost, it was actually 15, 50% more than what he said. And sabi niya, oh, nag-change na yung price, ganyan, ganyan. So, Ang hirap talaga pag ganyan. Make sure everything is in writing, every, everything is firmado. At Chamber guys, it's not all about quotations and everything. There are decisions on your part that will make the house be more economical in the long term. For example, uh, in our Skypad at Night video, we were talking about lights. How we use LED lights here and the Skypad exclusively. It's because LED lights last a lot, 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 lot longer and save you electricity. So although it's more expensive, sa first spend mo, it's a lot cheaper in the long run. So may mga ganyang decisions na nagsisave ng money as you go along. So pagkatapos ng bahay mo, hindi ka na nag-spend as much electricity. Another sample of that is yung roof insulation na ginamit namin. Uh, you can't see it, but we actually use yung freezer type na insulation the one you see on your refrigerator it's called PU foam polyurethane foam it's about two inches thick so sobrang lamig niya but we were forced to do that because we live in a glass house if we didn't have proper insulation we will have to turn on our aircon every day which could get very very expensive especially because open area though with a very high ceiling so yeah that was one of the long-term investments. Of course, mas mahal talaga siya initially, but it has probably even paid for itself. We're also using Lightblock. Lightblock is my product. Check it out. I'll put up a website down below, link to the website. It's used in all the walls here at the SkyPod, and its number one benefit is that it helps insulate against heat. So dito sa kitchen namin, natatamaan siya ng afternoon sun. Diba love? Yeah. Atatamaan siya ng afternoon sun, our kitchen. Mm. So, light block helps insulate the heat from that, making you save money in the long run. And as well as, it's also cheaper in the first place. Yeah, you know, that's true because I just came from the banyo and it's so much cooler than out here. <laughs> <laughs> and the banyo is all light block, right? Yeah. There's no glass. So, last few tips. Tips. <laughs> last few tips, guys. The design of the house will most likely influence the cost a lot. Now, for example, a glass house will be a little bit more expensive. Siyempre, mahalang glass. A house with a lot of moldings, a lot of designs would also be more expensive. And modern houses without a lot of partitions, without a lot of walls, and a minimalist design will be cheaper. So that's a consideration to make also on your part. And lastly, siyempre hindi natin gusto na puro savings na lang pinag-usapan. Siyempre bahay mo yun, gusto mo ma-enjoy, di ba? So meron akong tip na parang tawagin natin, may part ka na isi-splurge, but may part ka rin na isi-save. So at least may mga good quality products ka when you need it and a cheaper budget product and the parts that you don't need as much. So dito sa bahay namin, we are using these PVC uh, windows and glass. So in the main areas, these are expensive, uh, full panel, big glass that are fairly easy to push. So these are major expensive. And also these jealousies are of quality jealousies. Wait, and dami mga question about how we open our jealousy. Wait, nagay ko na lang din dito. So, 
When it comes to this jealousy, meron siyang parang handle na may butas. So what you can do is poke it. So we open and that's how we do. That's it. So even though the jealousy is more expensive, it helped us save because we didn't need motorized windows. So, nakaka-save din kami dyan. Back to my topic. You don't have to splurge on everything. Pagdating dito, we are using ordinary aluminum glass na. When it comes to the rest of the house, we are not using anything expensive. Just regular aluminum supplier na glass. Kasi, hindi namin kailangan na yung mga benefit ng binibigay ng malaking panels. So, it's just a small tip. Splurge on what you feel is important, but also budget on what you don't, don't need. So, you don't have to have one expensive supplier for everything. Final, final tip. Guys, make sure to hire proper professionals. Hire architects, engineers, plumbers, electricians. And make sure they are professional and trustworthy. Ang dami kong nakikita na mga people that are just building their home or extension using uh, foreman or pakyawan. The problem with that is these people will not come back because you have a problem with your home in the future. Diba? And in the first place, for example, I don't hire an architect. Mali mali yung mga location ng windows, mali yung height ng windows, height ng shelves, height ng counters. So that alone is reason enough to hire an architect or even structural engineers. Siyempre, pag mga foreman, alam na nila, sasabihin na nila, ah, ganyan lang yun, ganito lang kalaki yung column, ganito lang kalaki yung beam. Guys, hindi ka guaranteed when there's a calamity like an earthquake or a typhoon that happens. Make sure you're hiring the right structural engineers or even electricians because you don't want your place to be a fire hazard. Wag niyo tipirin ang professionals like me. I'm gonna try and eat now. Because yeah, eat have, yeah, I've been talking to them. So, so it's priority on YouTube. Mukbang challenge. <laughs> How to save money mukbang challenge. Mm. Anyway, Bye, Raya, mukbang. <laughs> yeah. I hope this guy, this tip. That, that. <laughs> Lutom na lang. <laughs> Walang tulog from last Nahantok. night. Nahantok. It's because it's very, it's very cold and rainy. I hope this video has given you some insight on how you can save uh, on your home. Uh, there are many other things that you can do, but these are what I feel give the best bang for your buck. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you think I should get a haircut, comment down below. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and ring the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.